question for you people out there, and I really hope that somebody out there has a fucking answer for me. I was having a conversation at work today, and it, amazingly enough, it wasn't about sports, and it wasn't about sex. You want to know what it was about? It was about society's idealism when it comes to famous people. Famous as in movie stars, as in musicians, and as in uh, sports figures. But specifically about the influence that these figures have over the children of America. Somewhere along the line, it became the responsibility of people who get paid to perform to be role models for our children. The children have, I, you know, have these, these people that they look up to, that they want to emulate. These are the people they wish to be, right? So these people suddenly somehow took on the responsibility through no fault of their own, through no action of their own, through no want of their own, the responsibility that the parents are supposed to carry. These football players and rock stars and movie stars who go off and live the life that they live by doing drugs and having a, a crazy time, going to parties, doing all kinds of wacky shit, are being held accountable and abused by society because these people are supposed to be the holy grail of representation for how children are supposed to behave. You know what? I believe that that holy grail is in the hands of the fucking parents! Of the people raising the children, perhaps? Do you think that perhaps maybe the people that have the most influence over the kids are the people that are directly involved with the children? I.e., the people that live with them, raise them, feed them, and teach them? Those people? Could it possibly be? And call me crazy. Could it possibly be that the people that are directly involved with our children, or at least should be directly involved with their children, are the ones that should really be the role models? Should fucking, you know, Bo, Bo the football player or Jimmy the guitarist really be the people that guide our children through the future? Are the people who are on TV that aren't even real people? They're simply fucking mannequins that move. These are not human beings. You don't know the football player. You don't know what he does after he's playing football. You don't know what the basketball player does. You don't know what the guitar player, guitarist does after they do their job and go home. First and foremost, it's a fucking job. Secondly, it's not their job to take care of your fucking children. It's your job to take care of your fucking children. The argument that I hear when it comes to this is, these people, the musicians, the basketball players, the football players, the hockey players, the fucking actors, they're in high-profile positions. They're in positions that the children can see. And because they're famous, and because they have, you know, power, and they've got money, and they've got fame, children want to be these people, so they look up to them. Because this is a person that they want to be, right? Okay, well, they want to be a, a famous football player, because that football player is strong, and he's fast, and he's good at what he does. Oh, they want to be the musician because he rocks out on his guitar, plays his drums, sings really well, he or she. And somewhere along the line, it went from simply them doing their job to them doing their job and raising my child. Oh, boo-hoo! This rock star went and they did drugs, so now my child's doing drugs. Shame on you! Shame on you for not being more responsible for my child! You know what? Fuck you! How about you getting up off your fat, lazy, ignorant ass and taking care of your own child? How about that? Here's a question for you. If the responsibility lays on the shoulder of the musician, the sports figure, and the actor to raise your child, and anything negative that happens is their responsibility, do you therefore give up the right to claim the positive interaction in your child's life? Anything good that your child does, the straight A's that they bring home, the artistic pieces that they create, the musical instruments that they learn to play, all of that responsibility therefore also goes on the football player, the fucking guitarist and the goddamn actor are they the ones that get it oh no 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 that's when the parent all of a sudden becomes the one involved little Jimmy and little Susie oh they did well so that's me glow glow oh little Jimmy and little Susie did drugs damn that rock and roll music it's Satan get the fuck up off your ass sit down next to your child and take a fucking part in their life there's a crazy idea I want you to explain to me how it's the responsibility of somebody who is not directly involved with their that child's life it becomes their responsibility to take a part in that child's life and form them I don't want to hear this bullshit oh well they're high profile yes yeah, so what so are you your children sees you more than they see fucking the, the football player or the musician. but So how come your actions, being an ignorant, non-caring, uh, absentee parent, how come that doesn't count as fuck up? 
Are you, there's, no, you can't be a bad parent because you pay for that child's food. You pay for that child's clothes. You put them in a house. You put them in school. But you take no active involvement in their life because if you did, no matter what the fuck the musician did, no matter what the fuck the guitarist did, no matter what the fuck the football player did, no matter what the fuck any of those people did, would not influence your child in a capacity that would fuck up their lives. Because you'd be standing right next to him when the fucking guitarist does a line of heroin and beats on a hooker and you say, that's bad behavior, you don't want to do that, and you explain it to him. And you'd be standing right there next to him when the football player gets in his car drunk and crashes into a pole or takes steroids and does something like that. You can stand there and go, that's not good, and here's why. So the next time you open up your fucking mouth, anybody out there who sees this, and please, please send this to all those morons out there, any of you fucks out there, the next time your child's sitting in front of a fucking television set, perhaps you may be want to, you may want to think that they're watching something that you may not agree with. And I'm not saying you should censor your child's life, I'm saying you should take a part in your fucking child's life. Sit down next to him, watch the rock video, watch the football thing, watch the news. And there's the thing that really gets me. You want to talk about fucking negative impressions on your child? The evening news! Murder! Killing! Fucking death! Horrible things on the news every day, but I don't see you standing up raising picket signs and fucking going off against Tom Brokaw because he talked about the atrocities over in Croatia. I don't see you going off about that. Where's the moms against fucking evening news groups that I fucking hear about? Where are they? Oh, sure, you got moms against rock and roll, Satan's music. You got moms against violence and sports, but you don't got moms against fucking CNN. Show me that group and then maybe we'll talk. Until then, get up off your ass, take a part in your child's fucking life, and shut the fuck up about the music and the sports. Because perhaps, maybe just maybe, you can influence your fucking kids. And it'll be a good thing!